Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our fabulous celebration honoring our teachers and our principals. Give them a hand. Your legacy, we know, are all of those children for generations that have come through your classrooms, that have come through your schools, that are now living, breathing examples of your work. They're your legacy. On behalf of everyone, the 57,000 students that we have, I want to say to you on their behalf, thank you very much for your service. And enjoy today. This is for you. The city truly appreciates you, truly appreciates our public school system. We really value this relationship. We value the work that you do. We value the relationships that we hope to create even more with our business community as now you see the entire Chamber of Commerce, as well as tech companies, want to embrace our education. They want our families to succeed. They want you to succeed with our families. Our first honoree is Vera Diane Williams, Teresa Mahler Early Ed School. My teaching style is a non-nonsense structured classroom with lots of joy, lots of fun, lots of creativity, and children know that I love them very much. Our second teacher award recipient is Lisa Sukamoto, kindergarten teacher at Rosa Parks Elementary School. I feel really passionate about our community in San Francisco and the diversity and I feel like I want to share that with the children and the future generations. I learn so much from them. They teach me every day. Definitely giving back to the community. Um, I'm a San Francisco native and I'm a graduate of the SFUSD and I think teaching about civil rights and spreading my love of Japanese language and culture with the children. It's such an honor and I feel definitely deeply touched by it and I feel like it's a testament to my school, my site, the greater San Francisco community. Our next uh, award recipient is Maria Yip, second grade teacher, Robert Lewis Stevenson School. Hey Maria. My seven, eight year old students, they're really creative, enthusiastic about school. At this age, they're really independent thinkers. Wow. At the same time, they're imaginative and enthusiastic about learning everything. And whatever I want to teach them, they want to learn. I'm inspired by the children's creativity, especially in the arts, and just how they embrace character development activities. And I love to share new ideas with my class and get really excited and feel empowered about learning and reaching their full potential. Education is much more than just the academics, but developing the whole child and instilling the love of learning. Karen Hadley, 6th through 8th grade physical ed, Claire Lilienthal, K-8 Alternative School. My students inspire me to be a better teacher. They're, I feed off of their enthusiasm. So when I wake up in the morning as a physical education teacher, I'm already energetic coming into work, knowing that they are willing and ready to learn and customizing their own lifelong fitness creates e extreme success in my program. I'm investing in our future. My students are extremely bright. They're leaders in our small community. I desire that every student feel safe, valued, and respected on a daily basis. We all make this connection through physical activity that naturally engages students in an inclusive, fair, fun, and exciting environment. Heidi Kubrick. Sarah a special ed transition, access SFUSD, the art. The most inspiring part of my job is coming to work and seeing the pride in our students, um, the pride of them learning new job skills at job sites like California Academy of Sciences or at SFMTA, um, making progress in travel training and gaining independence. I started in high school as a student aide for students with significant multiple disabilities, so I think I got into education to advocate for those who can't. My teaching style is very sort of holistic. I look at sort of what the students need. Working with young adults 18 to 22, um, it's not the traditional textbook or lecture, but we're out in the community at job sites trying to promote as much independence as possible. Let's give it up to our 2014-2015 Principal and Teacher of the Year Award recipients. 